everybody, this is Veronica Mosek with the 5MinuteBookkeeping.com blog where we show you how to minimize bookkeeping and maximize profits. And in this video, we'll go over how to avoid the five biggest mistakes that you can make with working with banking transactions in QuickBooks Online. Did you know that most QuickBooks users make the same types of mistakes in QBO? And did you know that most of these mistakes are made in the banking transactions? Let's go over how you can avoid making a mess in QBO with your banking transactions. Number one, uncategorized expenses in QuickBooks Online. Have you seen this in your profit and loss report? Where do uncategorized expenses come from? Well, it all starts from the banking transactions downloaded from your bank or credit card account. When banking transactions are downloaded into QuickBooks Online, QBO can't always figure out how to categorize the transaction. Let's go through an example. Here's an expense for Laris Lamination. You can see that it's categorized to uh, uncategorized expense and most untrained users will just click add. When you do that though, the transaction will show up in uncategorized expense in your reports. To fix this, you want to actually select the correct account category. Click on the transaction, select the correct account, We'll select Equipment Rental and now we'll click Add. When we click Add, the transaction will be added to the correct account. Number two, not connecting QuickBooks to your bank and credit card accounts. Another mistake that I see many QBO users make is that they purchase QBO but they never connect it to their bank and credit card accounts. A few months later, when they're ready to work on their bookkeeping or maybe it's April 14th, they finally connect their accounts to QBO only to realize that only 90 days of transactions were downloaded. That's no fun when you need to do a year's worth of transactions. I'll share a secret with you. You can actually import banking transactions from your bank. So you'd have to find an import file from your bank or you can actually even use PDF bank statements and convert them to Excel and then import them into QBO. There's a tool called PDF to Excel. I'll share the link with you in the description box below. Number three, waiting weeks, months, or sometimes years to work on your banking transactions. Well, here's my tip for addressing that. Just spend five minutes a day working on your banking transactions. Set an appointment on your calendar and then just work on your banking transactions for just five minutes. You'll be amazed at what you can accomplish in just five minutes a day. In the description box below, I'm sharing a link with you for a free cheat sheet and mini course to show you how to work on banking transactions in just five minutes a day. Number four, duplicated income and uncategorized income. As a general rule, money in banking transactions in QBO should be matched and not added. Here's a sample money in workflow if you invoice customers in QuickBooks. First, you would enter an invoice in QuickBooks, then enter a payment from your customer once you receive it, and then record a bank deposit. Then you would match that bank deposit in the banking transactions. You can also use the money in method number two, where you invoice a customer, and then you match a customer payment received in the banking transactions to an invoice in QuickBooks. Click on the link in the description box below for a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to properly work with money and transactions in QBO. Error number five, you don't know when to add or match transactions in QBO. I created the QBO Banking Transactions Cheat Sheet to help you get organized and to give you some sample workflows so you can know when to add or match transactions. In the description box below, I am including a link to a free mini course where you can get the cheat sheet as well as some strategy for helping you work on your banking transactions in just five minutes a day. I hope that this helps you to avoid the biggest mistakes made in QBO banking transactions. The main point I'm trying to make here, in addition to helping you avoid these mistakes, is to encourage you to get training in QBO banking transactions.